Chicago, Illinois was the spectacular setting for the grand final of the 2015 ITU World Triathlon Series. It was Javier Gomez's race to lose. He came in with a 225 point lead over Mario Mola. Vincent Louis was back in third overall. And that meant that Gomez just needed a top three finish to guarantee retaining his title. Richard Varga, unsurprisingly, was the quickest man in the water. A revamped course because poor weather in Chicago had damaged the podium. They swam along the shore. None of it made any difference to the man from Slovakia who came out first. Aaron Royal, who's had an excellent second half of the season, was right there. Sven Reeder with two within 30 seconds of the lead. But the main point was that Gomez, well in touch, off with the wetsuit for Varga. But Gomez just 15 seconds or so behind and a great swim from Mario Mola, the best in his WTS career. He was just 15 seconds adrift. Out onto the bikes, strong French team and Johnny Brownlee was back in action having recovered from a stress fracture. Gomez though, safely tucked into the pack, aiming for a ninth successive podium finish in the outright series. Quite astonishing consistency from the Spaniard, who's now 32 years of age. The lead pack had around about a minute's lead initially, but by the time they came to 5K from home, it was one large group of 60 men into T2. Richard Murray was in the chasing pack for much of the bike leg, but he'd caught up by the time they prepared for the 10K run. Big crowds in Chicago, a very sunny day in stark contrast to the thunderstorms that we saw here on both Thursday and Friday. Van St. Louis trying to get on the podium overall for the first time in his career. Ben Canute was one of four men who established a small gap coming into T2, but it didn't take long for the superior runners in the field to catch up. Inside one lap, in fact, Canute with a, almost an envious look across at the likes of Mola and Gomez. The two Spaniards set to fight it out for the remainder of the run. By this time, Gomez knew he was going to be world champion. A top three finish assured, but he still wanted to win the race and he tried to break Mola on more than one occasion. But his fellow countryman wasn't having any of it and stuck to Gomez like a limpet. Mola, in fact, the only man in the entire WTS series to have competed in all 10 events in 2015. And suddenly, there was a gap. Mola, who'd won the first event of the season in Abu Dhabi, was about to win the last. A look back, no danger. Gomez's race was run, but he was happy enough in second, guaranteeing himself a record-breaking fifth world title. Finally, Simon Lessing's four crowns have been beaten. Mola enjoying the moment. But really, it was Gomez's day. Huge friends, those two. There's also massive mutual respect between them. And they had to wait some 30 seconds before the third man crossed the line. Mola bowing to Gomez as a sign of respect for a man who had secured a fifth world championship. Richard Murray, a great effort in third. He was in the chase pack on the bike for the majority of that particular leg. But a wonderful run. Gajales in fourth. It was Mola's day, but Gomez stealing the headlines. And in the overall championship, Gomez beating Mola into second with Vincent Louis in third. I felt great since the beginning. Uh, I wasn't sure. Uh, I didn't know that I was as well located in the in the bunch at the beginning of the bike so yeah i can i think i've done one of the best races of my life javier five time world champion how does that sound sounds great i mean i think i'm uh, i can't understand it yet i will need some time to to really understand what i've done these last few years it's just amazing today i felt good i had a great race i felt really good on the run i just couldn't beat mario he was so strong and uh but i'm really pleased with uh with getting the title in the pocket you, you